am Adrian, and welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I usually do yarn and crochet content. Occasionally, I'll talk a little bit about knit. Some haven't finished or still haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching for a while, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for, you know, keeping up with my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Good evening, guys. It is 8 o'clock Central Standard Time on March 15th. I know I probably look a little bit of a mess, but I did a couple hours worth of yarn shopping today at the Hobby Lobby, uh, clearance and I came immediately home and fell asleep <laughs> um, so yeah I probably do look a little bit messy <laughs> um, anyways I wanted to share with you guys what I got um, and I'm going to start off with some of my one ofs. Um, there were a number of yarns that I really liked, um, but they only had one skein of this color or that color, but I went ahead and I grabbed them anyways. Um, so I'm going to start with this one. This one is um, Yarn B Smooth Move Microfiber. I'm hoping that the colors are going to show up. Um, they probably won't show up terribly great. Um, let me see. How's that? Um, no, it's not great either. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe there. Turn the ring light down a little bit. Um, so this color is called Spa. And this was one of the first ones that I came across. Um, it is 270 grams and it is 100% microfiber acrylic. Um, I'm going to be playing with the light here. Um, maybe, yeah. I've got a huge, I've got this huge pile of yarn sitting on my desk so yeah anyways so I was only able to get one of these um I do have another Hobby Lobby clearance trip planned for tomorrow at a different Hobby Lobby so hopefully I'll be able to find some of these one ofs there um so this other one is also a Yarn Bee Smooth Move Microfiber, and it's in the color Light Taupe. I don't know how well that's showing up for you guys. Um, now, I got these for $1.37 um, versus the regular price, which is $5.49, if you guys can see that. I only paid $1.37 for these. And like I said, they... Uh, they are 270 yards each, um, and I think that, oop, I'm not sure how many of these microfiber, these smooth move microfibers I got, but these two I was only able to get one of each color for. Um, now, I did pick up this color of uh, Let's Get Cozy Lazy Days. Um, it is a Lion Brand yarn. Now I paid $1.74 for this and it looks like it was originally marked as $6.99. I don't think the color is showing up quite right. It's To me it's kind of a purpley gray color. Um, on screen it's looking more like a gray. Um, it is a medium weight four yarn and there is only 179 yards and it's 100% polyester um 
the colorway is called Pewter. Now, I did get Lazy Days in a couple of other colors, but this particular one, I was only able to get this one skein of. They didn't have any more in this color. Um, so, let's see. The other one of that I have is this Yarnaby Highlights and I got it in black and I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle that well it does have some some sparkly to it um, I paid a hundred a hundred and thirty seven a dollar thirty seven um, and it was regularly priced at five forty nine and again this is another one that I was only able to get one of these um, it's got three hundred and eighty yards in it it is a medium weight three and then it's 79% acrylic 20% polyamide and 1% metallic um, again hopefully I'll be able to get a couple more of these in the next Hobby Lobby clearance trip at least I'm here's to hoping you know um, so that is all I got for the um, one ofs. Uh, let's see. Now, these two, man, I really, really, really wish the colors would show up a little bit better. Maybe that works a little better. I don't know. I can't tell if the colors are showing up well well or not. Um, so, I went into this hoping to get some of the sugar wheels on clearance that Hobby Lobby has. And actually, I found that either A, they weren't finished marking down stuff, or B, the sugar wheels had already been clearanced out. They had... Um, yarn in three or four different places plus they had two different shopping carts um filled with clearance yarn a third that may or may not have been clearance the lady wasn't sure if it was supposed to be clearanced yet um and she had told me that if i wanted to stay an extra hour she'd be done with freight and she would know whether or not that third basket was going to be um clearanced but I couldn't stay any longer than what I stayed because I'd have been broke, broke. <laughs> um, but anyways, so since I didn't find any of the uh, Sugar Wheel Cotton Cakes, um, I did come across these Premier Cotton Collages. And I've seen these. Um, I've seen them on the Premier website and... I found them in several different colors. This particular color is called Circus. And I was thinking that it would make a nice shawl, that, that these would make a nice shawl. Now there's only, um, there is only 246 yards in each of these. And so I only actually have a little over 500 yards in this particular color. Um, and it is a super fine weight one, and then where is, it is 46% 46, 46 cotton, 33% superwash, fine merino wool, and 12% polyamide, and also 9% PBT, which I'm not really sure what PBT is. Um, if anybody knows what that is or what that stands for, please let me know in the comments. Um, and this is what it looks like worked up in knit. Um, now, like I said, I only got, I was only able to get two in this color, but they had several of the cotton collages that were similar. And I'm thinking that it wouldn't be hard for me to combine them with a different kind of yarn or even maybe combine them with a medium weight three for um, an interesting look on something. I don't know. 
Um, but I paid a dollar twenty four for these cotton collages. Uh, and I don't see what they were regularly priced at. Oh, they were regularly priced at four ninety nine. So circus is the first color I got. Um, and my battery is going to die here shortly. So let me see if I can dig out my camera cord before it dies. <laughs> like I said, I have this huge pile of yarn all piled up. Hopefully I can dig it out from underneath this yarn plug it in before the camera dies. Uh. What do we got? There we go. Okay, that's better. Um There we go. So this is another cotton collage, another shade of shot of cotton collage that I got. Um, this one is called Sunshine, and it's some brighter pinks. Let's see, some brighter pink colors. Um, like I said, my my camera's not picking up all of the the, the colors the way that it should be and I am sorry for that if I do make a second trip to Hobby Lobby I will probably film part two outside during the day um, I just wanted to get these put away so that I have room for a second one <laughs> um, so that's the second color of cotton collage that I got and this yarn is by Premier and you can pick it up on their website um, I don't know how much it runs. Um, that would totally be a question for Cinnamon Stitches. Um, Jen over there is, she's the Premier girl. I'm just now familiarizing myself with Premier yarns. Um, so yeah, there's that one. And then, let's see, we have, I was, I was able to get three of the Sunshine cotton collages. This one is just called Brown, uh, and it's another shade of cotton collage. It's just called Brown. I was only able to get two of these, um, and these are all the same yarn. They're just different colors, um, but I figured I can, this is another one I figured I could combine with. I feel like... Uh, maybe is that does that do it better I don't know I really gotta work on the whole lighting thing now this color I really really like um, it is called C and it's funny because all four of these are the same colorway but if you look the bottom two actually look a little bit darker than what the top two do but all four of these are actually the same color of cotton collage and that is what it looks like worked up. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that very well in the video, but I was able to get four of these. <clears throat> Um, and then the last cotton collage that I was able to get was the color, uh, party. And I was able to get five of these. And again, you can tell like this, whoop, three of them have more blue on the outside and two of them have more of the pink on the outside but they are actually all the same 
color colorway. That is what it looks like worked up in knit. I hope you guys can see it. And I was able to get five of these. Um, so the next one I got is the Yarn Bee Cozy Toes. Now, I was able to get six of these and they were 87 cents each, um, regularly priced at $3.49. The only colorway that I was able to find is color number uh, 26 and it says multiverse number color multiverse color number 26 um, now I found these all over the place there were some on the shelf there was some in the baskets um, you know so I really didn't know how many of these I had until I got home but I actually got six of these at 87 cents each um, and they are a super fine number one 90% or 93 percent acrylic 7 percent acrylic I have to say they are extremely soft and I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with them um, it is 210 yards um, I'm not big on making socks and also you know I crochet so that's gonna take up a little bit um, more yarn than what it would if I knitted this yarn up um, but I'm thinking if I can combine this yarn with maybe a nice white color I could use it to make an amigurumi bunny or something something of that nature I'm not I'm not entirely sure yet um, like I said what I'm gonna do with it but it is really soft that little bit of polyester in there does it some justice as far as making it super soft and uh, like I said, I was able to get six of those. I've actually never seen this yarn before, um, and so I don't know what the other colorways look like. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> if anybody knows what some of the other colorways look like, um, let me know because I've never seen it. Uh, but that is Yarn Bee's Yarn Bee uh, Cozy Toes. <laughs> So another fine weight one yarn that I got was uh, Patton's Croy Socks. And I got this in two colors. Um, they had some others, but I only got the two that I really liked. Um, in this first color, I was able to get five of them. And it is a teal and black, dark blue type of a mix, variegated yarn. Um, there is 166 yards in each of these. And I was, like I said, I was able to get five in this color. Um, the color is called Turquoise Stripes. Um, and I paid $2.24 for these. Which, all honesty, I still felt was a little bit overpriced. Um... I don't know why, because regularly priced they were $8.99, and I got them for $2.24 a piece. That is part of the reason why I just got the two colors that I really liked, um, and I cleaned those colors out. Uh, but for some reason, $2.24 struck me as being too expensive, and I don't know why, um, because really, I mean, when you compare it to its regular price, that's, that's nothing. Um... It is, uh, see, where's that? Where's that? 75% wool and 25% nylon. You can definitely feel the wool in this yarn. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's wearable. It's something you could put against your skin, but it's probably not something that I would put against my skin. <laughs> it's, it's not the scratchiest, but it's not the softest either. Um, this is going to fall under the category of I'm not entirely sure what I plan on doing with it. When I figure it out, you guys will be the first to know. 
Oh, and see, this one actually says, this one is marked uh, originally priced at $7.99. This one is originally marked $8.99. So, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on with that. <laughs> the other color way of the Croy Socks by Patents that I got was the... Eclipse stripes and it is black and gray and I'm sure there's probably white in there somewhere too um, and I was able to get I think one two three four five six I thought I had seven but it looks like I've got six of them um, and it's funny because one of these one of these has a different label then there's this label and then this one has a different label um the ones but they're all the same color and they apparently are all the i mean i guess they're all the same but for some reason this one has like a newer label or something i'm not sure both say uh 166 yards i believe let me see. Let me make sure. They're the same color. This one I can't find. They are both the same fiber content. Yeah, it says that they're, they're both 166 yards. So they're exactly the same. But for some reason, there's this label. And then there is the gray label. And I was able to get six of those. I'm thinking... Possibly a shawl or something. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Y'all let me know in the comments what do you think I could use some of these for. Because um, a lot of times, actually about 95% of the time, I buy yarn and then I figure out what to do with it. <laughs> um, for me, buying yarn and using yarn are two entirely separate hobbies. Um... <laughs> You know, this year I was really thinking that I wasn't going to be going to the Hobby Lobby sale, and then I decided, oh, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and make a thing of it. And now, not only did did I go to the first store, but I have plans to go to a second Hobby Lobby as well. <laughs> okay, so. I already showed you the black Yarn Bee highlights that I got. The other Yarn Bee highlights I got is teal green. And this is, does not look green in the camera, but it is teal green. And it is the same as the black one. 79% acrylic, 20% polyamide, and 1% uh, metallic. And like I said, I paid $1.37 for these. And I was able to get two in this color. Uh-oh. My tutorial arm was falling over. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's see. We have... I got two of these must-be merino black. Now, this one is the DK version. I was able to get some of the Aran Weight or the Weight 4 version of this yarn. Um, it is Yarn B Must Be Merino. Um, and I got this in the color black. You can, I mean, you always, you always need black for something, right? 227 yards, and it is a lightweight 3. 50% um, Merino wool, 25% acrylic, and 25% nylon. This stuff is, it's soft, but I'm surprised that it's not softer. So I'm thinking that maybe if I worked something up and then hand washed it, it might soften up a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm, like the, This is not a yarn that I've ever had. In fact, none of these are yarns that I've ever had. Um, but... Considering that it has merino in it, I'm surprised. In, in fact, merino is the the majority of the fiber content. I'm just a little surprised that it's not a little bit softer. It's it. I would wear it against my skin, but 
I'm surprised that it's not a little bit softer considering that there's merino in it. Um, and I was able to get two of those. Um, now, this is again, uh, must be, oh wait, I got three of them. That one's Aaron, that one's Aaron, and that one's Aaron. I got three of the DK or the lightweight three ones, so there's a third one. I thought I had gotten only two, but I got three of them. This is the same yarn, except it is a medium weight, uh, four, and there is 153 yards in it, and again, I got it in the color black. Um, I got these for $1.99, regularly priced at $6.99, um, and I was able to get three of those as well. I think my bag's getting a little full. Okay. Now, this is Yarn B Throw It, Throw It Goes in the color Shadow and Light. Um, and I got two of these, and I had another color picked out, um, but I decided to put it back because I am not really big into working with fuzzy yarns or chunky yarns, but... I wanted to see if I could make, you know, a throw out of two of these. Um, I got these for $3.49. They were regularly priced at $13.99. Um, and there are 197 yards in each ball. So that is close to 400 yards. Um, so... That's the hope. Um, I wanted to, I, you know, I'm not really big into making blankets, so I'm not entirely sure just yet. Um, I don't know. If I see one tomorrow when I go back to Hobby Lobby, I might grab a third one just to be certain that I have enough to do a throw. But what I was thinking um, is, you know, it's classified as a super bul bulky six. Um... I don't know, I would call that maybe a five, but you know, it's got that fuzz on it. Um, it is, the recommended hook size is a number nine. I will probably be using, is, is a nine millimeter, I'm sorry. Um, I would probably be using at least a nine millimeter, maybe if, if I can find it over there. I know I had a 10 millimeter, but I might even size up to... A 10 millimeter um, because I don't typically do blankets but this one this yarn seemed light enough that I could maybe work up a whole throw in and it wouldn't get so heavy that it would hurt my wrists and I have been trying to expand on what I will and won't work with um, you know for example with the axolotl that I showed in um, one of my previous videos you know that was made out of a really chunky yarn <laughs> um, you know so I figured I'd pick some up and, and and give it a whirl you never know until you try right um, and I and I like I said I got, I got two of those and hopefully that will be enough um, if it's not then I, I might consider picking up a third um, in my next trip. So I got some more of the Lazy, the Lion brand Lazy Days. Uh, it's Let's Get Cozy Lazy Days. This colorway is called, I don't know if it's Lichen or Lichen, but it is a soft green color. And I was able to get three in that color. Um... And then, the, uh, the I think this is the last color of Lazy Days that I was able to get my hands on, um, but it is called Clay, and I was actually able to get six of these 
six of the Lazy Days in this color. And it's kind of a light reddish brown color. Um, it's not showing up too well in the camera. Um, but I was able to get six of these. And this yarn is so soft. Um, it is a chain spun yarn, so it'll be light and airy. Um, and this is one of the yarns that I was really looking forward to getting my hands on was the Lazy Days. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how it works up and, uh, whatnot, you know, uh, I, it's, it's another one that I've never worked with before. Hold on. Got to grab my other bag here. <laughs> Um, I want to say that is the last of the lazy days that I got, but, uh, I want to say it is, and this, these are a hundred percent polyester. I couldn't believe that I had, that there was six of them. I didn't find, you know, I found these six in one of the shopping carts they had over there and I didn't see any. Um, anywhere else on the shelves or anything like that. So I don't know what was going on with that. So let's see. I've got... Oh. There are two. I must have got... Okay. Well, here is a Must Be Merino in linen. And the, the color is linen. Um... And I've got two of these. I feel like earlier I showed one of these, but I could be wrong. Um, it is 227 yards. And it is a yarn bee uh, yarn. And I got these for $1.74, uh, marked down from $6.99. Um, and it's the same as the black ones, uh, just a different color. It's a lightweight 3, 50% uh, merino. 25% uh, acrylic and 25% acrylic. And I got two of those. Um, and I was also able to pick up one in white. What gets, what I don't understand though, is this is the same exact yarn, same weight, same everything. These I got for $174. This one I paid $1.99 for. And this is the only white uh, must be merino that I was able to find. Um, and I almost put it back because it was the only white one I could find. But then I thought, just like black, you can always do something in white. So I went ahead and I picked it up. But I don't understand like the 25 cent difference <clears throat> on a yarn that is exactly the same. <laughs> um... So, the last one I have for uh, the Must Be Merino is the Must Be Merino Erin, and these are a weight four, and the color is called mauve, but it looks more like a burnt, like a brick red color to me, um, but I was able to get four of them. Each skein is 153 yards, but you can see, that, to me, that's not mauve, at least I'm looking at it in, in real life, and to me, it's not mauve. To me, it looks more of a, like a brick red type of a color. Um, but I was able to get four of those. Um, these ones are actually the very first yarns that I picked up. Um, as soon as I walked in the store, and I was able to get four of them. They are Yarn B Spinesse, um, and it is the color gray, and I was able to get four of these, and some of them are, the, it is a little messy, some of the uh, hanks, some of the, some of the skeins are a little messy, um, but these are 75% viscose and 25% polyester, and there are 350 yards per skein. It is, it says it's a lightweight three, um, but there's no way. There's just no way. We're talking closer to a one. There's, there's no way that this is a lightweight 
three. If you can see that, there's that that's a one, maybe a two, which could be pushing it. Um, but I paid a dollar twelve for each of these, um, and I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe a shawl. There's more than enough to make a shawl here at 350 yards in each ball. Uh, I wish I'd have been able to find some of this in some of their other colors because, again, this this yarn actually I really liked, um, and it was it it was calling to me. Like I said, this was the very first yarn I picked up, and but I did I did not find any more of the gray, and I didn't find any more of this yarn anywhere in the store, and it is like a yarn be spinness. Um, I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all have seen this or found it in any of you guys' Hobby Lobby hauls. Um, also, like, this one is marked $3.99 originally. Um, and then this other one here is marked $4.49 uh, originally. But I for all of them, I paid $1.12 for. Um, only two more, guys. <laughs> only two more to show. <laughs> so this is another yarn that I really wished I'd have been able to find more of at, you know whether it be different colors or or not um, but it is yarn be yarn topia um, I have never had this but it is amazingly soft and it's a hundred percent acrylic um, this color is called spice and I was only able to get just these two um, and I could not find any other colors or any more of this yarn at all. Um, but there are 312 yards in each skein. And it says that it's a two weight. Um, which I would agree with that. It's maybe, a, it's a two, maybe like a, like a little bit thicker of a two. But if you compare it to... Like this one on the label, it says that it is a three weight, but look at the difference in that guys. Like it's, there's a huge difference, um, which I hope you guys can see on camera. You guys might not be able to see it on camera. Um, but it is, uh, it's got a shiny thing going on here, like a sheen, almost like Caron Simply Soft has, um, but not quite as not quite as bad. I mean, I, I really like it. It's very soft. Um, I would definitely wear this against my skin. And had they had enough, I totally would have bought enough to do a sweater or a cardigan or something of that nature. Um, so that's another one I'm hoping that maybe I can find some more of uh, this Yarn Utopia by Yarn B. Um, and I paid $1.12 for this, for these as well. Um, and then the last one that I have to show you guys is another Lion Brand yarn, and it is Chenille Appeal. Lion Brand Let's Get Cozy Chenille Appeal. Um, I paid $1.74 for each of these. I, could, I only found it in this color, um, but I did get four of them. It's 100% polyester, and it is the color Stucco. It doesn't look like a stucco to me, but that's, I mean, <laughs> the, it's the color stucco, and I was able to get four of these guys. Um, and of course, the first thing that came to mind is Amigurumi. Um, I, I don't know that that's what I will use it for, but that is the first thing that came to mind. It says that it is a medium weight four, and it says that there are 284 yards per ball, so I have plenty enough to make make some amigurumi teddy bears or something if that's what I choose to do with it. it I, I don't think that I'll have enough to do a sweater or a cardigan at least not adult and not in the not an adult size sweater or cardigan but when I seen this I thought amigurumi um so yeah I'm not sure what I'm the, all of this falls under the category of I'm buying it because 
I want it and it's on sale, but I really have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> um, so anyways, guys, that was the, my yarn haul for Hobby Lobby. Um, there may or may not be a yarn, uh, a part two, uh, I do have plans to go to a different Hobby Lobby and see what I can pick up. Um, now, for all of this that I showed you, um, I paid a total of $128 and I think $0.29 cents, um, after tax. Um, so I think it was a really good haul, especially compared to last year. You know, last year I spent $528 and I came home with three or four, I think it was three or four massive, massive bags of, of Hobby Lobby yarn. Um, this year I had much more self-control and did not go just grabbing everything. Um, but we'll see how much the total racks up after the next trip. <laughs> um, Kiwi, you want to come down here and say hi? He doesn't, he's standing on the tutorial arm watching me. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. I am going to go start putting these yarns away in my cubbies um, so that I have room for the bags that I come home with tomorrow. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And, you know, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later.